Well, for the last few days, Mike Max continues to run into really interesting people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, case in point today again, Frank and Amelia, there are so many stories of people who live their entire lives in the cities and cities that have now been beaten up. Rich Melzer started in South Minneapolis and now lives in North Minneapolis. It is what happened in between that prepared him for his current life. Rich Melzer was there last week with his friends from the city that he grew up with. Marching. There's a lot to take in at first, obviously. You know, we uh, didn't anticipate that type of turnout. Um, I don't have an exact number, but it went from a couple hundred to thousands. It's ironic he's here for the city because as a kid, he got kicked out of the city. I ended up getting, you know, in some, in some, in some compromising situations as a youth. Um, that ended up leading me to be out of high school. You know, ultimately I ended up getting expelled from high school. He moved to River Falls with his family, made a commitment to basketball, and defied the odds going from the University of Wisconsin River Falls to the NBA and a career overseas. It changed his life. The stuff that I use today in my professional life as a parent um, is all things I learned playing basketball. You know, how to lead, when to take charge, when to fall back, how to take direction. And with that, he returned to the city that he left to work at the YMCA, where they are working to help restore the inner city. Because not far from here, they burned and looted the buildings. Not the why, which begs the question, why not? There's a unique governance here in the community over the YMCA. I mean, you look down the block, O'Reilly's is a football throw away from here, and it's burnt to the ground. Um, the Y has been unscathed and untouched here. Next week, he will start to lead basketball camps here again, and the kids will return to the court, and the laughter will return to the north side. Now, it says no dunking or hanging on rims, so I promise I won't do either, okay? I promise you that. Yeah, okay? yeah, please, please. <laughs> and Melzer will be a big part of it because he matured, and his basketball journey made him a man that could lead in his original hometown. It's probably the most meaningful work I'll ever be a part of, and I think it's some of the most interesting and dynamic work the Y has ever done in its long history. Mm, very true. They will start with day camps next Monday at the YMCA and Broadway, and they will continue to distribute food and supplies as necessary. So more signs of healing when those kids come back and get to use the facilities again, Frank and Amelia. Yeah, definitely.